Hello everyone, this is Scott with InMotion Hosting and today we're going to show you how to create a basic profile in the Logaholic Web Analytics tool. Now the first thing you're going to do is get to the Logaholic page where you installed the uh, the program. So here it's InMotionTesting.com slash Logaholic. It brings us up a uh, login area and I'm going to use the admin name that I, used, that I created during the actual installation. Alright, great. So we come to the first page. There are no other profiles here, so it tells me I have no active profiles available. And I'm offered to create a new profile here at the top. I'll go ahead and give that link a click. And you're brought to a page here that has several tabs on it. And the purpose of this video is to show you how little you can put in to get your basic profile started. And the rest of the data, you can always come back and change at any time. So the first thing we're going to do here is give our profile a name. Literally, it can be anything you like. Uh, we're going to stick with admin. Alright, the domain name field here is for the actual domain name we're working with. Go with InMotionTesting.com. The next field is equivalent domains or subdomains. Now this is any other domain or subdomain you may have that points to uh, your main domain here. Uh, if you see over here it gives other examples such as MyDomain.com or My.Domain.com or www.adifferentdomain.com. So anything you have, if I had InMotion Hosting Emotion testing, excuse me, .net, pointing to the same area, I would enter that here. Okay, we'll go down to profile status, and it's deactivated by default. We're going to set that to activated. All right, and then the default file. Now, this is the first page of your website. Most of the time, it's index.htm, index.html, or index.php. If you're using a content management system, such as Joomla, WordPress, or Drupal, it's most likely going to be index.php. So we enter that there. All right, and click on the data collections tab. Okay, here we're going to choose how we actually collect the stats. And I'm going to check this one here, the log file analysis local file. Okay, and ask for a location. Uh, I'm going to use, I've created a folder in my home directory specifically for this called access-logs. I'm going to get some of that from this address that gives me here as an example. I back up over the last two. Uh, so home slash in motion is my actual uh, home directory and then access dash logs is the log file location so that's where my log files are going to be kept okay and that is the all you need for the basic profile so you need that first tab there the general settings go back here it shows the profile name the domain name uh, the settings and the default file status, excuse me, activated, and then data collection. I'm going to set that log file up there, okay? Like I said, everything else here is going to be stuff that you can modify and change and, and work on later. So we get that basic profile in place, and you guys will be good to go. So go down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit the Save button. All right, here it is. So it shows me here my admin profile is right here on the list, and as things start to come in, I'll be able to view stats, update, edit the profile, and you maintain, which may be some future videos. All right, once again, I'm Scott with InMotion Hosting, and thanks for watching.